Hello and welcome. My name is Byrozan, or to those who know me better, I prefer to be called Byro or uh, Chris. Uh, welcome to Paradise Server. This is where I spend the majority of my Minecraft time these days. I joined the server probably early February of 2013, and I have uh, gone off and made myself a nice little area to build in, explore in, mine, and live with two of my buddies. A gaming buddy, Alien Leprechaun, who I've known for about three years, and we have played many different games together. That is his house right over there. And uh, a real life friend of mine, uh, the Hasselstoff, who I have known for about uh, just short of a decade. And um, so I'm going to go ahead and start off with a tour of my area. Go ahead and end up down to my house. I wanted to go over and start a little series of my exploits on Paradise simply because of the fact that a lot of times uh, very entertaining things happen and I wish I had uh, video evidence of them, to say the least. A uh, little house here. I didn't spend too much time working on it because I honestly will not spend much time in it. A little loft upstairs, better than here. And go up my loft. Really no purpose to being up there. Shut the door. Okay. This is the where I spend the majority of my time is my basement. Beginning over here, we have the city planner's office where we have some of our builds planned out here. Uh, the lime is either currently working on or very immediate future. All the way down to the black is way down the line. Uh, jungle Resort and the 20,000 Legs Under the Sea Village, which is Lep's idea. That's going to be a lot of paint. <laughs> I don't know if anyone has ever built underwater, but it is a very large pain in the butt. A um, little bit about me. I have been playing Minecraft since Beta 1.6. Uh, this is my chest room. I share this with Alien Leprechaun. We have a tunnel in between our houses. Meets up here. We basically worked on everything together in this area. I think the only thing that he hasn't assisted me on, or I haven't assisted him on, is the nether fortress that I'm currently building. Uh, basically, well labeled, well laid out signs. We are on the server, of course, with Lockett. So it has both our names on it. And this is our little side addition for excess items. No big deal there. There was a secret entrance once upon a time down here, and now I got rid of it. The actually leads out to the stairs over there. This is was my little potion brewing and enchanting area for a very long time. And I have recently relocated the potion brewing to the nether fortress. Now, go over here. Basically the second thing we built on this server was my barbecue, which I have now remade into an efficient furnace area. Put the item up there, goes through, comes out here. Uh, I was smelting a lot of nether rack and I was tired of replacing them and constantly having to deal with the furnace, so this is what prompted that. Over here, and this is our ranch area. This was at one time our main source of animal products and food. Obviously no longer the case. We still need to work on the roof in here. I wanted to do some more clouds on the roof, but we never got around to it. We leave most of our builds about 80% finished due to both of us having full-time work. And uh, he has a life, of course, and uh, I work about 50, 50, 60 hours a week. This was a small-scale egg farm at one point, which I'm currently relocating. This was a chicken griller, but I got annoyed as people kept using it and letting chickens all out into this area because they weren't triggering the levers properly in the right order. This is my light harvested wheat farm. Uh, I believe it's 15, maybe 16 stacks of wheat, a stack of carrots and a stack of potatoes when I flip that switch over there. I don't feel like replanting them so I'm not going to bother harvesting right now. This is not efficient redstone. Uh, I was very tired when I did this one night, 
and basically just spam redstone everywhere until all the lamps lit up. I was not in the mood to deal with it. Um, gonna go on down here. This was originally a mushroom farm, but seeing as I was not around for the mushroom biome update and everything, and I, I didn't know the new mushroom mechanics. Um, oh yeah, going back to me, I played from one, beta 1.6 to about 1.2 post-release, and therefore I, you know, understand a lot of the earlier mechanics of Minecraft, but I did not play from 1.2 until 1.5 on the PC, that is. I went back to the Xbox and played, you know, what was essentially beta versions again. Uh, so I have a visitor. Oh, Hasselstoff. I'll have to get him on a Skype call here soon. But, uh, <laughs> gonna go on over to Let's House over here. This is one of my favorite rooms of our area, is the Lava Temple. He's not finished yet. Uh, one night I had some shenanigans in here under the influence, and, uh, he said, hey, Byro, go play in the lava. I'm not dying. We have regen from the beacons up top. Well, needless to say, I died in the lava and lost all my items because, you know, Drunk Byro isn't exactly the uh, smartest individual. This is a cave system over here we have not fully raided or even really even touched at all. This is Lip's house over here. He is by no means finished. He's been working on this now for about two months. Um, we obviously don't use our houses much. And then if we will go back out over near my house, you will see what is the Penta Beacon, or working on a Penta Beacon. I have two of the five beacons set up. I have all the iron required for this, and we were in the process of decorating around the beacon. Haven't finished this as well have my bridge, which uh, is going to be part of a dock. I'm eventually going to have a pirate ship or something out there. I uh, have the lighthouse over there, which is one of my favorite builds. It was the first major build we had on the server. Oops. Honestly, I need to get... Uh, need to get... What is it? Uh, well, now I'm blanking on the name. But the... Uh, the video processing software for um, for Minecraft. What is that called? I can't remember. Oh well. Uh, get that reinstalled after the 1.5 update. I disabled it. But I miss all the advanced options. Especially this glass. I don't like glass without it. Looks terrible. But uh, Lighthouse, yep. Built February 23rd. That was about two weeks after I joined the server. And then over there, I'm working on my nether fortress. I will not show that because it is only about 5% started. This is our little village over here. I'm working on breeding them. They, uh, honestly, they aren't giving me the best trades right now. Eventually, I want to make an iron golem farm not too far from here, probably off in that direction. And then I have a little sand pit over here for glass. Right, yep, right there. And then this is the original nether hub where I found this area. I spent probably, I don't know, a good two hours digging through the nether, placing portals until I find an area I like. And uh, this was the area I found. There is a little AFK shelter there. All my dogs and my farm. This is, you know, every sheep color in the game, a bunch of cows, a few pigs. This is a public access farm. If anybody would like to use this on the server, feel free. It has everything except for sugarcane. And that uh, is Hasselstoff's old house. He's currently converting it into a greenhouse. Honestly, it was entertaining before. It looked like a big church up on the hill. I, uh, he kept trying to convert my animals to Christianity. He has his new house over that direction. And then there's one last thing over here I want to show before I end this. And that is what is essentially my pumpkin pie farm. 
I had a the new egg spawner up there, however, it lagged Hasselstoff, so I took it down for now. I'm going to uh, move it somewhere else. Bunch of pumpkins, sugarcane, and then when I get a new egg farm, that's how that'll be settled. And this tunnel leads back to our ranch. As for other builds, in the nether I have a, what is essentially a wither farm. It's not the most efficient yet, but I'm working on it. Obviously the mechanics around a wither farm are a big pain. Uh, you have to prevent all spawning. You can either mine out everything in about a th roughly 300 block radius, or you can simply put a half slab to prevent spawning of pigmen and whatnot. So I have a, I think it's a five, maybe a six layer goes down to the ground some uh, wither farm. That's how I'm getting my wither skulls. But for now I'm going to teleport back to my chest room. And I hope you've enjoyed. I uh, just want to welcome anyone who's watching this to the Paradise server. And I would suggest looking into it to uh, join us. Contact myself and I will help you out with the application info. It's a very fun server. We have some amazing people. Lady Minecrafter is the moderator. And it is owned by SayJ Rock. But for now, this is Baru. And uh hope to be seeing you soon with some more videos.